Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. Please hit the thumbs up button. Help out our channel. We appreciate that. Hit subscribe as well. We're doing more Topps Chrome Baseball released yesterday. Maybe the biggest product of the year. They do have the MVP buyback program. Save your base cards of the players you think are going to get the AL and NL MVPs. You can trade them in for store credit, boxes, singles, whatever. Um, we're doing six hobby boxes. Uh, just a real quick plug. You know, we're a YouTube channel. I got to plug something. If you guys want to sell your cards uh, through the PWCC, now called the Fanatics Collect Marketplace, you can consign to their auctions through us. We'll get you 100% or more on any cards that sell over $50. A little bit less if your card goes for under $50, but uh, email me, dynastybreaksllc at gmail.com right there. Uh, Dane, I'd like to know about your auction program. I'll let you know. Uh, Wilson with the Padres, Thomas Phillies, Aaron at the bar, Diamondbacks, Jimmy Tay, Jimmy Tay, Cardinals, Kringles with the Marlins, Aaron Mukow with the Nationals, Eric, World Champion Rangers, Kentuck with the Royals, Michael Cubs, Kevin Twins, Scott Guardians, Wilson, Wilson, Dodgers, Chad, Yankees, Frank, Mariners, Daniel with the Rays, Andrew over at the Mill with the Braves, Thomas Rockies, Kentuck Giants, David with the Mets, Matthew Wag, Mr. Ying with the Pirates, Neil and his heavy flow, Astros and White Sox, Kringles, Blue Jays, Hall with the A's, David Orioles, Wilson Brewers, Keith filled with joy, Red Sox, uh, Josh, get a job. We should all have a job, uh, Tigers. And uh, Wilson with the Reds and the Angels. All card ship, no hills credit. I, too, hope you get an Ellie Auto. We have not pulled his auto yet. Yeah, it's the Variation Cracked Ice. Which I think, Dave, that's the only variation that's not numbered to less than the regular one. All the Cracked Ices are numbered to the same thing. But still, doesn't matter. It's still a huge card. They're both either numbered to 21, 22, or 23. I don't remember what. They change up the Cracked Ice every year. Yeah, 20 bucks per base, 40 for the refractors on the MVPs. Uh, if you get a card to 199 or less, it's 100 bucks. If you get a card to 99 or less, it's 200 bucks. That's just your base cards of your MVP, not not any inserts or anything. Only the base cards. Okay, they're to 22. Cool. Yeah, I know the variation on the champ ticket is like numbered to half as much as the the regular, but the uh, cracked ice is always 22 across the board, I think. Just a gigantic card. No two ways about it. And my answer, Dave, is if you were, ha if you did happen to get a PSA 10, I think it's a great card to auction. That's when you want everybody fighting over it. That's when you want the borough collectors fight. I think auction's the only way you realize your uh, your ceiling on it. I don't know, unless you got somebody that money is no issue that you know. I think you let the uh, people that want it fight over it, especially if it's the only one. There's a lot of packs in these. Yeah, hobby is. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have carpal tunnel here in a minute. What? You're going to have to give me a hand massage. Four cards a pack or something? Yeah, four per pack. That's standard, man. Wow. Even back in the 90s. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, if it's a pop one day, that's where you want the uh, all the eyes on. That would be a... Probably that might go to their premiere auction, actually. I've only submitted to their weekly auction, but if you have an item that is sniffing the five-digit range, sometimes they'll throw it in the premiere auction. I don't know. I may still put that in the weekly, though. The weekly still has, there's still like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 cards in the weekly. Um, all right, Corbin Burns, Cal Raleigh, Otani, 89 Tops Design. Sal Freelick, Carly's boyfriend. What happened to Carly? She left again. She must have went back to her rehab meeting. Uh, Rafi Devers, all etch. What do you guys think of these inserts? What do you think? I love it. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of a 90s look to it. And by 90s, I mean awesome. Summertime in the park. Let me tell you about my summer in the park with Jackson Holiday. Jackson and I were walking down the uh, the path 
you know, getting our exercise. And I said, Jackson, who's your dad? Who's your daddy, Jackson? Not me. I'm not your daddy. Who's your daddy? <laughs> you say you. Not, not me. Uh, who's your daddy, Jackson? He said, well, my dad is Matt Holiday, former MLB player. And I said, well, Jackson, I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Where were you drafted? What position were you drafted? He said, I was first overall. Can you believe that? And uh, and then I said, well, what I like about you, Jackson, is that you went to Stillwater High School. And he said, go Pioneers. It was just a good just a good conversation. What, are we at the bar now or something? Junior Caminero. <laughs> you want to be at the bar now, don't you? Don't you? Uh, Cunha. Ooh. Insert. Trevor with the ooh. It's kind of like a flag. CJ, when I passed this card, he made me go back to it, and he goes, I just bought that jersey. I'm like, you just bought a Ryan McMahon jersey? He's like, yeah, I liked it. I'm like, that's so weird. <laughs> just like randomly? Just randomly. He's like, I just bought that. I'm like, okay. Summertime in the park? That's what he said. All right, Sonny Gray. I get pretty scared when I see these. These scare me. He looks like a ghost. The ghost of Sonny Gray. Yeah, great story. Cool story, bro. Fantastic story. Carly said yay. Good story. Oh, man. Carly didn't say yay. Yeah, I think she did. She said yuck. No, I think it's yay. I think you're reading wrong. Uh, Jackson Cheerio Brewers. Go ahead and talk. Jackson oh. Holiday can't get in a bar. Is no, they don't, they don't let big studs get in a bar like that. Uh, Is still 20? I don't know. I'll have to ask him next time we talk. All right, uh, that is Orion Kirkerning. I want to name my kid Orion. How cool is that? Yeah. Orion, named after a constellation. You know, Orion's belt. You know the belt? Uh, that is to 250. Orion. I wonder if he wears a belt. I wonder if everybody just points at it and goes, Hey, it's Orion's belt. I'm Roman God. I wonder if everybody laughs. Jason Dominguez. You didn't know that about Jackson? He just said, were you two holding hands? <laughs> um, I'd like to keep that between Jackson and myself. I'd like to keep that. Oh, hey, speaking of Jackson. Hey, bud. All right. Marte. Are we going to get an auto here? I'm getting a little worried. All right, there it is. Heston Kerstad. He was the second pick in the draft, so that's a big card. Here we go, Orioles. Rookie. You try to say it tonight? Foul tomorrow. No, I'm losing my... I need to let my Catherine Hepburn voice heal. David. Rest is important. Congrats, David. When you do the, as many voices as I do, rest is important. Especially your normal voice. <clears throat> they were sitting in a tree. Aww. It's hard to sit in a tree. It's got to be the right type of tree. Yeah, we get it. We get it there, Skippy. We get it there, Ginger. I'm never going to stack these right. Let's just... It's all about balance. Being a breaker, balance is very important. Balance. Balance. He's the new Cedric Mullins. Hey, I remember Cedric Mullins. We used to get an auto of his every pack. He once came into our office, and he just started signing the walls. He just grabbed a pen and started signing everything. I had to stop him. So, hey, Ced, we're good. We don't need any autographs. Cedric Mullins, they threw a pitch to him, and he would just grab it. He would sign it and throw it back. <laughs> I'll be posting a video. I probably mentioned this yesterday. I'll be posting a video of a collection I picked up um, on Saturday. So I'll post that for people to watch while we're gone at the National. Pretty cool collection. One of our viewers sold to me. Um, I'm going to be putting up a lot of those cards for sale. A lot of them are going to go through the uh, Fanatics auctions, weekly auctions in August. Um, it'll be a pretty interesting video. It's about 30 minutes or so. It's 111 graded cards. So be looking for that Saturday night. I'll post that Saturday night to YouTube. Two nights away. And forgive me, at the beginning of the video, you're supposed to make, I hear you're supposed to make the beginning of your video 
like engaging. Are you? No, I'm like, hey guys, it's Dane. I'm, I'm I got some graded cards here. Uh, I got some cards. So no one's actually gonna watch the whole thing. They're gonna stop right when I start talking at the beginning. So I need. To, I'm thinking about recording a new beginning and just stitching it together. Yeah, it's all graded bench warmers. I'm actually gonna bring that up to Adam before I go to the national. He said he would buy it from me. Adam is a uh, Adam Carly Tubby is a big uh, collector of some set called bench warmers. I don't know anything about it. Trevor doesn't know anything about it, but Adam does. Right? I guess. <laughs> yeah. You never know anything, do you? You're just like George. Everybody over in that chair is like Switzerland. They don't want to make anybody mad. They just want to they just want to kind of drift. They just want to drift to the end. Junior Camonero. Uh, Soto, insert. Let's get a super fractor today. Why not? We're nice guys. Why not? Evan Carter. I would say our Ellie uh, Ellie's did well yesterday. We probably went above and beyond on Ellie De La Cruz yesterday. One thing I've noticed on these, I guess, every now and then, it seems to me like that card is off centered up and down. Does that? Am I off there? Is that wrong? Uh, yeah, it's a little up. Seems like some of the cards are. That's one of the only problems I'm seeing is some of them are a little bit up, but not very many of them. I don't know. It might not be off center. It might just be an illusion because it's dark up here and it's silver down here. It maybe you just notice the silver more. I really don't know. I can't tell. Jackson Holiday. Oh man. I think it's good actually. It might be, man. I can't tell. Looking at the at the rest of these. All right, Diamondbacks Jarvis. That is a purple mini diamond refractor. Should be to two ninety nine, and it is. Arizona favors the right. Dave favors the right. He kind of limps to the right. Uh, all etch Soto. When are you guys getting to the National Dave? That's the important question. Jordan Lawler, insert. When are you guys arriving? I will still be doing some jumbo tops chrome, and I already have another tops chrome listed for August first, Thursday, when we get back. I've got another two by two by two, and I think I'm going to be out of Breakers Delight after that. But we'll still be doing jumbo PYTs and stuff. Got plenty more tops chrome. I don't want to be out of tops chrome, so I'm saving a little back so we can break it when we return. Uh, Brian Rocchio to ninety nine for the Guardians. Rokio. That's a cool placement for the numbering. Yeah, what do you think on that, I too? Do. That's different. I like it. You like where they put the numbers? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird place to put the number. Uh, Julio Rodriguez. It's different. Kind of did some stuff a little different there. Trey Cabbage. Um, J-Rod, Summertime in the Park. And autograph Coco Montez. Colorado Rockies on the board. I've seen a few Cocos in this. I've seen a few Cocos. Thomas at the bar. There you go. The bar is a popular place for hits. It is. People love the bar. Hit that thumbs up button if you're watching. Help us get to 100 likes, guys. That would actually really help our channel. If tonight and tomorrow we got to 100 likes, when, when your channel's going to be off for a week and a half, it's not good for the old algorithm. So send us off with a uh, with a bang, so to speak. Uh, if we get 100 likes on an evening, man, it, it boosts our channel a lot, which we need uh, going into the uh, break here. Aaron says amen. Amen to the bar. You get to Cleveland this Sunday. Going to hit up Cider Point, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Shawshank. Yeah. Nice. Man, you're going to already be, you're going to be tired by Wednesday. When are you all leaving, Dave? You stay until, uh, all the way till Sunday? I would actually be okay if they would 
do half as many packs in this and do eight cards per pack. That would be okay. I don't know that... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. I know it's always been four cards per pack in Chrome. I'm not a huge fan of buying a pack of this in a hobby shop and you get four cards. I kind of wish they would just do less packs on this. I don't want everything to be just for breaking. I get it. I don't. We don't need jumbo packs of everything, but... I don't know about the whole four four card thing. Leaving Saturday night. Good deal. We'll hang out a bunch, Dave. I'll uh, bring some documentation so you can uh, you can see about Jordan being the goat and stuff. I'll bring some reading for you during the national. You can read about it. My brother's wife went nuts, so he's moving to Indiana, where we all live. <laughs> that was random. Where did that come from, Cheney? Or is it, were you typing that? Were you actually texting that to someone, but you accidentally typed it into chat? These packs have a mind of their own. Watch it just float off, huh? Kind of like Cheney, just a mind of mind of their own. All right, um, Dane Myers, what a name. Uh, Mookie Betts, all etch. I'm going to try to go through these cards a little slower so the camera doesn't blur. It doesn't like Chrome cards very much. Johnny DeLuca to two ninety nine. Rookie for the Rays. Excuse me, three fifty. Correction. That sounds fun, Cheney. Wow. Carly. That sounds fun. Carly's happy that happened to Cheney. Jackson Holiday, my guy. Uh, Jazz Chisholm. He lives in Tulsa. I'm a big Oklahoma guy. I'm from Oklahoma. I go to Tulsa a lot. I do not like Tulsa. I don't know what it is. I tried to like Tulsa. I've stayed there many times. I've bought vehicles there. I've I'd love me some Tulsa. gone to concerts there. All the roads are always under construction. The city is not beautiful by any means. Why do you like it? What is there to like? I don't get it. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. What's beautiful? Just the way the city's laid out, the way it looks. It looks like crap. Okay. Wow, I don't know. Maybe we're in different parts of the city. I'm in the bad part of Tulsa. Obviously. Aaron Judge. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz insert. I'm just not a big Tulsa guy. I mean, nothing against it. I go there a lot. Nothing against it. That's the only uh, o Oklahoma City that I like. There you go. If it wasn't for Tulsa, I'd stay out of that place. I like Broken Bow. You ever go to like cabins up there in Broken Bow? Pretty nice in the mountains there. Like, kind of kind of the mountains, kind of the woods. No. The backwoods. Good place to go. Jackson Holiday. I like I the backwoods. Oh, Bradley, you mean the, uh, is that the Hard Rock now? Is that what you're talking about? C.J. Abrams, Otani insert. And uh, A.J. Smith Shaver for the Braves. A.J. Smith Shaver Green Wave Refractor to 99. Yeah, you got to be a little more specific there, uh, Bradley. There's quite a few of those. Yeah, there's a couple of them, actually. Uh, Mike Trout, all etch. Very nice card. Zach Wheeler Dealer. Gunnar Henderson, Evan Carter, rookie. Yeah, I'm probably going to top load that. Why not? Uh, Andrew Abbott. Andrew Abbott, rookie. Cincinnati. There you go. Wilson. Wilson getting an autograph. Not Ellie, but, but, but hey, Andrew Abbott's nothing to sneeze at. He made it to the major leagues, too. Is he a son? He got farther in his baseball career than I did. Do what? Is that uh, Jim Abbott's Jim son? Abbott's son. I don't know if that's Jim Abbott's son. Jackson Merrill, probably top load that. Could it be Jim Abbott's son? It could be. It could be. There's always a possibility. That Jim Abbott, handsome fella, could be his son. Isn't Shaq's son coming out pretty soon? I thought he had a heart condition. Oh, did he? I thought... Is that right, guys? Did Shaquille O'Neal's son end up not going pro because of a heart condition? Or am I wrong? Is he still on the road to the NBA? There was some incident. Oh, was that him? I think he, I know what you're talking about. Well, Bronny had one, but also I thought Shaq's son. Shaq's son's a monster. He uh, but I don't know what happened with that. I'm sure the chat knows. Didn't he have two sons? 
Oh, he's got he's got more than one. Yeah, I don't I don't know. One of them was a monster basketball player. His name Sh Sharif. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He transferred. I thought he just transferred. Okay, so he's still playing. I I don't know. I I just figure he's going to the NBA. Seems like a no brainer. Hey, Jackson Merrill played for the Ten Caps, one of the great logos in minor league baseball. Isn't their logo an apple with a pan on its head for a hat? Isn't that the logo, Shaney? It's a really cool logo. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Yay. Get you some carpal tunnel syndrome. David Ortiz's kid got drafted. Cool. They both said yes simultaneously. Did you guys synchronize your yes yeses? E. D. and Cheney. All right. Here we go. Garrett Cole, all etch. Luciano, rookie. Is that a refractor? No, it's not. Cody Singa. Sal Freelick, somebody's boyfriend. Don't remember who. Uh, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, the MVP buyback. This is the, I'm going to call that the X-Fractor Acuna. Give that a boom. So this is one of the cards people traded in. They, have, they stamp it with the MVP logo. And then they number it to either, I believe there's a 199 for the regular refractor. These are to 99. And there are also some autographs of Acuna. There you go, Braves. Pretty cool. Pretty hard to get, actually. Nice. We got an Otani yesterday. It was to 199. So is this a variation of the buyback? No, that is one of the cards that someone traded in. It, it already, okay, okay. Yeah, they traded in the Acunas and the Otanis, and Tops took some of them. And stamped them and inserted them. In but this like year. all the different, like this is a that design. So somebody would have got what was that number to ninety nine? Somebody yeah. last year got a hundred bucks for that, or uh, or no, I forty you. bucks. I got you. Forty bucks. That was not numbered when it was pulled out of a pack last year. It's numbered now. Okay. To put it back in here, yeah, because I don't think that parallel was actually numbered. Pretty cool. I think Bob traded that one in. Bob. Oprah was wandering around Milwaukee today. Was she looking for you, Carly? Uh, Austin Wells. Don't call me Orson. Austin Wells. Yankees. One of the more desirable teams in the break. There you go, New York. Chad. Chad with the autograph. And Michael Conforto, looking scary. I'm scared. San Francisco, the negative refractor, named after Carly. Negative refractor. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz, summertime in the park. I was in the park. There was Ellie. Strolling around. <clears throat> My brain needs rehab from Dane. Well, they make a... <clears throat> There's counselors down the hall here. We can have them do a teleconference with you, Carly. <clears throat> Ah. All right. You got a little phlegm in there? You know, hack it up. Can you take a look in my mouth? No. Okay. That's the... What? What? Can you just tell me what's in there? <laughs> All right. Ellie De La Cruz, uh, rookie card. That is a beautiful card in the chrome design. Love it. I don't know. I thought something might be going on. I wanted you to check it out. Uh, Evan Carter, 89 design. Drink some coffee. <clears throat> ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Jackson Cheerio. Peter Griffin. Or hey, let me do what I want. <sighs> let me do what I want. Guys always tell me what to do. All right. Um, Freddie Freeman. Ooh, Victor Scott. Great Scott. That's a great Scott. Uh, to 125. That's that Pulsar blue refractor design. I don't know what to call it, so I call it Pulsar. Even though that's a Panini parallel. My lack of knowledge leads me to call it the Pulsar Refractor. 
Soto for the Yankees. Soto for the Yankees. Said it twice. Um, Dominguez, rookie. I'm going to probably top load that, I think. Seems like a good idea. I like that picture. It's kind of a cool picture. All right. Um, let me get a drink. You know what? Since you won't do it, I could just use the webcam. They could tell me what, what's in there. <clears throat> Randall Cobb is retiring. That's my guy. I like Randall Cobb. You want to, like, lose some viewers real quick? Viewers? Viewers. Lose some viewers. Man. Hey, yeah. you like Randall Cobb? You like Randall Cobb? Eh, yeah. I, I like Randall Cobb. I'm going to miss you him. Would. I like Randall Cobb. I like Jordy Nelson, too. Jordy Nelson left too early. Huh? He left too early. He did. Um, they wouldn't pay him anything. They wouldn't pay Devontae either. Um, they wouldn't pay, they wouldn't pay Aaron. Yeah, I know. I think Randall Cobb very much overachieved on what people thought he was going to do. That man is an overachiever. Good job by him. Pretty good stuff. You see uh, Devontae Adams trying to get Tom Brady back? Yeah, I saw that. Shannon didn't even ask the question. Devontae yeah. Adams was on the uh, Shannon Sharp podcast. Pretty cool. I watched the whole thing yesterday. Um, he said he talked to him. <clears throat> he's like, uh, so let me ask you about Tom Brady. Devontae goes, yes. Yes. Well, I didn't even ask the question yet. Yes. You got to give that rookie a chance, man. He's pretty good. Yeah, he or was talking year, about that. Second year, I guess. He talked about that. He said that he sees improvement in Aiden O'Connell. Yeah. He'll be the starter, I think. Ed and O'Connell. Contenders football up next. Crazy combo style. I know how you uh, guys and gals like your combos extra crazy. Yeah, I love corn and cob. That's my favorite vegetable. It's about the only cob I like. Very negative. Maybe they named the negative refractor after you. Maybe the Carly. Want to talk. Maybe the Carly refractor is the. Uh, let me think. I'll have to think about what they would name a refractor if it was... Tell me in the chat. What would they call a refractor if it was named after Carly? Let me know in the chat. I'm going to pull the audience here. If a refractor was named for Carly, what would it be called? Superlative. That's already taken. It's <laughs> already taken. Wasn't Sky Moore in that set? There yeah. are some people in that set who were like, what? What? Not so, just Sky Moore. So other Carlin? Corn is a grain, not a vegetable. Thanks, Chaney. Chaney Thanks, is, uh, Chaney. Chaney's using Google. Congrats on your getting a keyboard, Chaney. The spare refractor. Wow. Raw beef and onion fractor. There you go. <laughs> the raw beef and onion fractor. <laughs> the uh, black death refractor. <laughs> okay. That's pretty accurate. Dang. All right. Um, Camonero. Top load junior. Uh, Lou Bob. Come on, camera. All etch. Trey Turner. Wyatt Langford, rookie. Finally got one of those. Got one of his autos yesterday. Singa. Dominguez. Uh, we're about 500 miles from Mexico. It's not very far, TJ. Or not very close. I'm confused. Otherwise known as the wharf fractor. You ever sneak over there? Yeah, all the time, TJ. I just I just hop back and forth over the line. I play hopscotch over the uh, the, the line. Yeah. Um, Lou Bob Blue Wave to seventy five. First one of these we've gotten. Blue Wave to seventy five. Now that one is a little off center, uh, left and right. That's a great pick. It is a good pick. Way to go, Lou Bob. Boop. See, Carly, uh, it helps to ask the audience. Now you can't just uh, come after me. Now we got the whole team. Uh, Jordan Lawler. Mason Wynn. Are error cards worth anything? Ryan, it depends on what the card is. Depends on what the card is. As a general rule, Ryan, there's two things that have to happen for an error to be worth anything. One... The error has to be quickly corrected. Meaning, oh, we spelled something wrong and a hundred of those cards got out and then we fixed it. And so there's not very many of them out there. 
So that's the first thing that has to happen. And the second thing is people have to care about it. People have to want it. Everybody wants the no-name Frank Thomas, but does anyone want a 88 Donruss, you know, Joe Bob that has a dot on it? No. So it has to have demand, and it has to be really rare. Uh, now, if it's an error that they didn't correct, like every card that exists has the error, it doesn't matter. It's not worth not worth anymore. Uh, Connor Phillips. I hope that answers the question. Connor, Connor Phillips, purple to two fifty. The Cougar SSP. <laughs> the Cougar Fractor. Wow. All right. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz, the Cougar Fractor. Uh, Ellie De La Cruz, eighty nine tops design. Nice card. El Ray with the positive things to say. Yeah, the Billy Ripken is uh the Billy Ripken. I don't know that I would consider that an error card because it. Every one of them had that. Until they started doing the mark out and the white out and the scratch out, I don't know if I'm going to consider that an an error card. Maybe it is. To me, it's not. To me, it's not. Uh, Nathaniel Lau. To me, the regular Billy Ripken. Ooh, red autograph. Samad Taylor to five. Ken talk. Red refractor autos do not grow on trees, kids. Five of five. Last one stamped. That is a tough one. Congrats, Ken. Big card there. To me, the Billy Ripken is the one that says FF on it is the regular card. And then the uh, there's variations of that card. So I don't know that I would use the term error. Uh, Jackson Churio. Now, somebody made an error letting that card get out. But... Error in judgment. Wyatt Lankford. How about a red refractor again? <clears throat> yeah, it's just an F up. Yeah, I would say that's a base card that's interesting with different variations. Now, I would say the uh, Frank Thomas rookie with no name on the front, that was an error. They accidentally didn't put his name on there. They corrected that real quick. Like, that probably got corrected at the factory in a few minutes. So not very many of those uh, Frank Thomas cards got out there. 90 Donruss Bo Jackson. I'm not aware of an error there. Um, that doesn't really ring a bell. I'm sure that there is one, but I don't, I don't know what that would be. Nice Royals card, by the way. Yeah. It's Trevor's team, the Royals. Ken will be happy with that. Did you watch the All-Star game? Bobby Witt was in there. No, I sure didn't. Saw, so, was it Shohei that got the home run? Mm-hmm. Like Aaron Judge out there just watching it? Judge and uh, somebody were talking uh -huh. about it or had some interesting faces. I think it was uh, Soto. In the outfield. Bob at the factory. You gotta watch out for Bob at the factory. You, you ever see out. Skeens? His pregame warm up? Uh uh. Like it's pretty awesome. Skeens. Dude's pretty amazing. Bunch of foam foam deals. He's, and he's just over there like making motions with his torso or just like his lower body. Strengthening himself. Yeah, just, just different exercises and stuff. Pretty interesting. Oh, the Marlboro sign being taken out of the Randy Johnson card. I've actually seen that card, yeah. I mean, the Dale Murphy um, reverse negative from Upper Deck. Uh, one of the... I do have an error card from the collection I bought uh, from a viewer of the channel. You'll see it on Saturday's video. It's the Mark Witten 91 tops error. His hand is printed over the border of the card. His hand sticks over the border. Which actually had some value. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, second break, Jasper. Jasper yeah, always wants to jump the... That Jasper is a first break dinner talk kind of guy. Got about 20 minutes till the dinner talk. Yeah, you got to wait for the dinner talk. You got to let it settle, Jasper. You gotta, this is kind of like appetizer. Uh, this, is, this break is the appetizer. Then we start talking about what you guys are having for dinner. Uh, Dominguez, Kershaw. You gotta let it build up a little bit. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, Cody Singa, second year. Dansby. Dansby. Xander. All right. Diaz. For once, I would say, yeah, listen to Carly. Carly's right. I hate to say that. Uh, Ellie again. Two of these. I hate to say that. I mean, I hate to say Carly's right, but, you know. When she's right, she's right. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, J Rod. Shane Bieber Rose. Huh. What does that mean? Uh -huh. We don't know what that means. Shane Bieber. Rich says, I have a sealed jumbo chrome coming soon. Sealed box or sealed case of eight boxes? Sealed box or sealed case. All right, we got Reese Olsen, one of the Olsen twins to uh, 350. Tigers. We got uh, Byron Buxton. CJ and I had a long conversation yesterday. About Mary Kate and Ashley uh -huh. or Elizabeth what? Olsen. What's the question? Like who do you who are you a bigger fan of? The mm. the twins or Elizabeth? You know who Elizabeth Olsen is? Yes. Okay. I'm just asking. Oh my gosh. I don't know what you know. DJ said that the twins weigh eighty pounds together. Soaking wet. And I said that's not very nice. They're wholesome. They're nice people. I don't think they weigh 80 pounds together. Um, all right, Pete Crow Armstrong. I would be surprised if they weighed 80 pounds each. I think they weigh more than that. Uh, Young Hu Lee, rookie rush. Love this design, man. Young Hu Lee. Watched a video about this guy. He's like a really, Did you? Yeah, really nice to his fans and stuff. Play. His shoes. 60% of the time, I'm right every time. I got to think about that. That's confusing. Uh, box, Rich, I don't know. I mean, why did you buy it? Did you buy it to hold it back? Now I'm asking you questions, Rich. I'm answering your question with a question. Uh, Gabe Moreno, Lava, Aqua to 199 D-backs. I guess if you bought it to hold it, it's not a bad product to hold. If you remember, Tops extended uh, all redemptions to 10 years. Yeah. So for cool. for 10 years, if there's a redemption, it's still good. So it gives you the ability to, you know, keep the wax box. Autograph. And if you're going to get a Rockies auto, you get it in purple. Connor Kaiser. Kaiser so say. Nice. Nice reference. You like that? Uh, 193 to 250. All purple. Oh, second hit for Thomas. Wow. Colorado coming through, man. All right. And uh, Gavin Williams, or excuse me. Uh, yeah, Devin Williams. How about Devin? Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Email me if you want to sell some cards. Um, whether it be one card, multiple, graded, not graded, it doesn't matter. Consign your cards to us through the Fanatics Collect Marketplace on their weekly auctions. I'll be glad to answer any uh, questions or recommendations. How do I, how would you sell this? How would you, uh, Dane, what do you think on this list of cards? Or Glad to answer all your questions. Send me an email. Uh, email address is on the backdrop. We'll be right back with Contenders Football.